So a lot of homeowners are interested in growing their own plants from seed. Uh, a lot of seed, you can just plant those out and that's gonna germinate and give you the plants back. For, but for some seeds, they're gonna have uh, dormancy requirements that have to be overcame. Uh, a couple of those are, uh, a couple of common ones would be uh, scarification and then uh, stratification. So scarification, that's when we're brazing that outer seed coat uh, of the seeds. If they have a hard seed, a hard uh, seed coat with those seeds. And basically it's not allowing any of this water uptake of those seeds. And there's a couple different ways that we can actually abrase those seeds. We can do it through a mechanical method and using sandpaper. And depending on the seed itself, something like this Kentucky coffee tree seed, it has a pretty thick uh, seed coat. We're gonna have to braise that several times. And what you're looking for here is a change in color. So basically we've uh, abrased that outer seed coat and we can get to that uh, endosperm or that embryo and that allow that water uptake. Okay, so you can use sandpaper. Other things, if you have large seed and it's really thick seed coat, something like this Kentucky coffee tree, you can use a, a bench grinder, also works really well for it. Um, other methods, and you can use chemical methods if you're dealing with a large number of seeds. If you're only doing a couple of seeds, again, you can scarify those with a, with a file or sandpaper. But for a large number of seeds, you may think about chemical treatment, something like sulfuric acid. Now, this is a pretty toxic uh, chemical to work with. It'll eat through your clothes and eat through your skin, definitely. So uh, something to consider whenever you're working with it, uh, pay attention. But other ones that I've seen, uh, the phosphoric acid, so something like that you would find in uh, pop, you know, again, it's a weaker acid than sulfuric. Other ones would be citric acid, so something that you'd find in uh, any of the, the, the fruit juices, those could also work. But for those, you're gonna actually, would have to soak the seeds for a longer period of time. For sulfuric acid here, again, this is a pretty uh, strong acid, and for it, uh, you can usually soak those for about 15 minutes, and that's usually good enough for those seeds. Okay, so if you pour a little bit of sulfuric acid, you drop the seeds in here, and then uh, whenever you wash those off, you wanna neutralize that to get rid of that acid. But it's a pretty short treatment, um, but you can do a large number of seeds with those kind of treatments. As far as seeds itself, how, how can you tell? Well, you may notice that the seed itself has, uh, it's pretty hard, pretty thick outer seed coat. Some of the smaller seed, you know, you can probably pinch between your fingers like a tomato seed, but some of these here, we've got some examples. This is Kentucky coffee tree seed. I've got uh, soapberry seed, uh, golden rain tree. Uh, this is uh, red bud seed and then hibiscus seed as well. So these are all seeds that have this hard, thick outer seed coat that we can abrase and use that scarification treatment to actually encourage this uh, germination. Okay, and this is just kind of mimicking what's happening uh, in the environment itself, whether these seeds, someone runs over them with their vehicle or they get broken down with the weather over time. Uh, so I mentioned scarification. Another one that, that seeds uh, commonly need that sometimes you'll see on the package itself that it'll say, you know, seeds need scarification or you can soak them in water. Okay, so something else that, that you can do as far as the, the chemical side of it, you can just soak them in hot water, usually for about six to eight hours and that's usually sufficient, uh, or you can soak them overnight. Just make sure that the, that the water is not boiling. You just need it to be warm, but not boiling. Um, another way uh, that we mentioned, okay, so that's scarification, another way of overcoming uh, dormancy. Some seeds uh, have uh, physiological barriers to that germination, okay, scarification is a physical barrier, that hard seed coat. If it's a physiological uh, barrier, then you could use stratification. Okay, and so for this one, we could use something like sand or you can use vermiculite. Most people have sand, I think. And I think in this bag here, we put uh, half a cup. And then you would wanna add a little bit of water to that. Uh, as far as a little bit, for this uh, half a cup, we add uh, one tablespoon of water here. And the idea is to get, is to get the media moist but you don't want it to be soaking wet. Okay, if the seeds sit in, basically are sitting in water, they're uh, eventually gonna probably rot out. But the idea behind the uh, physiological dormancy is that it needs some kind of cold treatment to encourage that uh, germination to occur. So for these, we would uh, wet this media here, put it in some kind of bag, and then if we um, had had our seeds for whatever seeds that we're gonna use, we could put those in this bag here. And the keys here is not to completely close that bag because oxygen is important. 
and then you need cool temperatures. Usually a refrigerator is sufficient for these uh, uh, cool temperatures. And then depending on the seeds itself, it may say that it needs 30 days, it may need 60 days, or it may need 90 days uh, stratification. If it needs the longer side of things, the 60 or 90 days, I would encourage you to look at your seeds about halfway through or uh, about once a month uh, before that due date and start watching them because if they actually, they can actually start germinating and if they do, then you'll see that uh, and you don't pull them out, there'll be this tall spindly growth, it won't have enough light in there and then those plants will never make. Okay, so sometimes you're not really sure. Uh, other ways of determining how long to, to leave the seeds, again, the seed package may tell you. You can also look for references online. We uh, have a fact sheet uh, with uh, Oklahoma State uh, as far as, I think it's E917, and it talks about propagating plants. And in there it lists some examples of seeds that need stratification and then ones that need uh, scarification. Okay, so if you're not really sure, you can give it uh, as far as the stratification, if you're not really sure, you can give it a little bit on the longer end of things, so maybe leave it in there, you know, 45 days, 60 days, maybe even 90 days, but again, definitely check it to make sure that the seeds uh, haven't already started to germinate. Um, as far as the, the scarification, uh, these are seeds that we did uh, about a week ago, and we can see the, the clear difference here. These were planted out, but the difference here between a, the regular seed, one that hasn't been scarified, and then one that has been scarified, you can actually see where we scarified it right there. And with that uptake of water, you can see that it has swelled. Okay, and this one should uh, germinate probably in about another week. Uh, so that's what I have. A couple of tips here, again, just to consider uh, for, your, for your seeds, that not all seeds that you can just plant, they may have some kind of uh, dormancy requirement. And if the package says scarification, again, that's gonna be a braise in that outer seed coat. And if it's stratification, that means some kind of moist, cold, uh, treatment. For more information on uh, seed requirements, check out the OSU fact sheet, Propagating Ornamental Plants in Oklahoma.